Hello, in this video we're going to look at graphing a Lorenz curve using data from the United States. So the Lorenz curve shows a cumulative share of income being earned by household quintiles. It's used to examine the income distribution and issues of income inequality. So here's data for the United States 2018. We have the share of aggregate income received by each fifth or quintile of the households. So the number of households here in thousands, um, this is roughly uh, 129 million. And we see that the bottom 20%, the lowest fifth, uh, earned 3.1% of all income. The second fifth earned 8.3%. The third fifth middle 20% earned 14.1%, the fourth fifth earned 22.6%, the highest fifth, highest 20% of the income distribution earned 51.9%, and there's also here the top 5%. So again, just an interpretation, the lowest quintile, or we could say the bottom 20% of households gets 3.1% of aggregate income, this number right here, the lowest fifth. The next quintile received 8.3% of aggregate income. And therefore, if we want, we can say the cumulative share received by the lowest two quintiles, the two lowest quintiles, the bottom 40% is 3.1 plus 8.3 or 11.4%. And we could do the same thing. We could look at the cumulative share received by the bottom three quintiles, bottom four quintiles, and so on. Okay, moving on. So just taking that information in that last table, rewriting it slightly. So first, second through fifth income quintile and the share of income. And then I created this, this column right here. This is a cumulative share of income. So starting with the bottom 20%, okay, the bottom 20% is earning 3.1% of all aggregate income. The bottom the bottom 40%, so what I did here to get the 11.4, I took 3.1 and added to it 8.3. So the bottom 40% are earning 11.4% of the share of aggregate income. To get the bottom 60%, we're just going to add up the share of income going to the first three quintiles here, and we get 25.5 or 14.1 plus 11.4. And the share of income going to the bottom four quintiles is 48.1%. And then finally, share of income going to all the households is going to be 100%. So this is just 51.9 plus 48.1. All right, this other column here would be the share of income going to each income quintile if we had perfect income equality. So the bottom 20% earns 20% of the income. The bottom 40% earns 40% of the income. Bottom 60% earns 60% of the income and so on. So what we're going to start doing now is taking this information in the table and graph our Lorenz curves. We're going to graph two curves. We're going to graph the basically the third and fourth column. So starting with this last column, if we were to graph this last column, share of household, 20%. The first income quintile, they get 20% of the income. Bottom 40% gets 40% of all income, and so on. So if we graph this, again, like I said, this last column, we're graphing what is referred to as the perfect equality Lorenz curve. If everybody earned the same income, if all households had the same exact income, the Lorenz curve would be a upward sloping line here at a 45 degree angle. All right, let's graph the actual Lorenz curve. So graphing the actual Lorenz curve, I find the, the first quintile, the bottom 20%, and I come across so right about here, that's where the 3.1% is going to be. Then I go to the bottom 40%, and the share of income going to the bottom 40% is 11.4. So that's where 
this coordinate is right here. Okay, that's about 11.4 right there. And then so on at the bottom 60%, I'm trying to find 25.5% share of income. So that's somewhere right about here. Uh, the bottom 80%, um, we're almost at 50%. So that's right about here, 48.1% share of income going to the bottom 80%. And then the last one's easy here. Uh, the, the bottom 100% earn 100% of the income. And that's just going to be this point up here at 100 and 100. So this red line is the actual Lorenz curve. And this blue line is the perfect equality Lorenz curve. So that's how you graph Lorenz curves. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.